Oakley and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because this is probably one of my most requested videos that you guys have been wanting to see and I'm finally going to be showing you guys a tour of my glam room. I feel like Vogue 73 questions right now. <laughs> Let's go inside. Okay so as soon as you walk in right here I got these framed. It's just some different articles that I've had written about me throughout the years and moments I'm proud of and things like that. This actually I did in high school. You guys may have seen it actually because it ended up going really viral. Seventeen Magazine wrote about it and tons of news outlets. This was actually whenever Kylie Jenner's lip kits first became really popular and I was kind of doing a play on the lip kits Missouri style. I used chicken wings as the lipstick applicator and barbecue sauce as my lipstick swatches so there is that. And then this one was actually probably one of my like most proud moments in my career. I was named one of Gen Z's most defining names in beauty as well as Selena Gomez, Addison Rae, Charlie D'Amelio, a lot of really big people and that was so wild and also I had no clue what it was for whenever they were giving the interview they were just like oh we're interviewing some different people like they acted so casual about it and then the article came out and I was like this is charity work. I should not be involved in this. And right here on this table is probably one of my favorite things that I own. This is my Jonathan Adler bubble lamp. I've wanted it for so long and I finally decided that I was gonna splurge. And because I'm the biggest believer ever, I obviously have to have my Justin Bieber magazine. And then here is my prized possession, my own mini Sephora in my house. Straighten Up by Janelle came over and she did this entire thing and I'm so grateful for her. We actually used the pack system from Ikea because it's super customizable and we were able to build the shelves, the drawers, everything like that. We can kind of walk through what each drawer is, things like that. On the top shelves, we actually use these Lazy Susans to kind of create a display. And so in here, it's like all of my concealers and they're organized by brand and it's so aesthetically pleasing. Pleasing. Over here is some of like my cream highlighters, blushes, and again, it's kind of organized by brand, so it just looks really cute. And then over here are some more concealers, but these are like concealer pots, so they're just kind of set on top of each other like this. But these little mirrors, the lips and the lightning bowl, are from the brand Bride and Wolf. And then these candles are from Neo Candles. And I'm so obsessed with this little print. It says, Can I get a side of ranch? And it's from the brand Laundry Room Studios. They have so many other cute prints. I feel like I'm gonna get some more of those as well. Well, now for the magic inside of the drawers. So over here we kind of have it set as like skincare tools and beauty blenders, things like that. So in these top drawers, I have so many alcohol wipes because I go through them so much just by cleaning my kit, things like that. Obviously makeup wipes. And then we just have like all of my disposable sponges and beauty blenders, backstock on mascara wands, Q-tips, stuff like that also. I just think this is so cute. I feel like I'm never gonna use it, but I got sent this in Allure Mercier PR package and I want to kind of display it too because it's just so cute. And then the next drawer is where we start skincare. And I think this drawer is really cute because it has all of my different face masks and then treatments, masks, things like that. This mask is one of my favorite exfoliating masks. It's the Triactive Exfoliating Mask from Is Clinical, 10 out of 10. And then obviously I have like stacks on stacks of the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Cream. If you guys have never tried this, your skin it needs it, I'm telling you. And then all of my lip products, there's some different acne treatment products here. I love the Peace Out Acne Dots. These are really helpful if I have a zit, especially because of masks right now. I can wear it throughout the day and no one knows. And then over here is just some different moisturizers that have been unopened. These are just kind of back stock of things and I like keeping them in the box sometimes just so that I know it's completely fresh, never been used. This one is all of my body and then there's also some more moisturizers and eye creams because they all didn't fit in the top drawer. Over here, I have different body oils and this. I feel like I get so many questions all the time on my Instagram about how I make people's chest and body look so glowy and dewy. And this Patrick Ta Body Balm is one of the best products to ever exist. Also, it smells amazing. And so whenever it hits the light, especially in photos, it makes your body look like unreal. Back here I have some different body lotions and exfoliators, just more moisturizers and eye creams. Down here is kind of a mix of a lot of 
different things, honestly. Over here, I have a bunch of different SPFs, and then back here is all of my self-tanner, which we're gonna have to get another one of these little containers here soon because a bitch loves her self-tanner. And then back here is my face oils. We have more toners and exfoliators there. She thinks that this glam room is hers, let me tell you. <laughs> and then over here, I have all of my face cleansers and toners. These I've been dying to use. I've never tried these before, so if any of my clients wanna try these out, let let me know. These are face tapes. So a lot of celebrities actually wear these and that's how you kind of create that snatch effect. It's not because of makeup or hair or anything. You literally tape these on like the sides right here and then you pull it and tie it back behind your head. It's wild. I feel like if I try those on myself, I'm going to do it once and then I'm never going to be able to go out without them ever again. Down here is just a few items. I have some different hair accessories. I have back stock on makeup brushes and then I have different bath items here. Some bath salts, bubble bath from Honest Beauty, things like that, and then just some different perfumes. Over here is just like a display of some different items, and I feel like it looks a little messy. I might change this. I just got these little designer basketballs that I'm obsessed with. We have the Chanel one, and then we also have the Prada one, and these are from a small business called Rooted in Style. She also made me this little grass Prada purse, which I think is so cute. And then I have a few items from Jonathan Adler. I have the little LSD candle, as well as the little weed canister. And then I have this little Dior tray that is from another small business called Designers Keepers and it's actually kind of a funny story because me and Isaac we went to Belrose Trading Post this was probably like seven months ago at this point it's been a while and I saw this tray there and it was so expensive and I was dying over it. I'm like do I splurge do I do it I don't know and Isaac was like no don't do it and then like that week I found this girl's Instagram and she literally had the exact same tray and I was like it's meant to be I need it back there is my very first designer purse ever that was a big moment for me when I bought my first coach purse. It was from the coach poppy collection And I thought that I was the baddest bitch ever with that bag. Let me tell you here comes the start of Seeing all of the makeup which is my favorite. So our first drawer we have all of the foundations I really love NARS for complexion. So over here is all of my NARS. I have some different tinted moisturizers Their sheer glow foundation. My personal favorite is the natural radiant foundation. I really love this one on myself I use this on on Tana Mojo also every time that I do her makeup as well. It's really great because it's full coverage, but it's not gonna make you look cakey or anything because there's a nice radiance to it as well. Right here, I have some different Maybelline foundations. I really love Maybelline Spit Me foundations for a really great drugstore foundation. I feel like it's very similar. It's a nice dupe of the NARS Natural Radiant because it also has really good coverage as well. I think they have a really amazing shade range also, which I really love. And then back here, I have some different foundations from Benefit. It. They're just their stick foundations. I have some foundations from Rare Beauty, which I still haven't tried yet, and I actually really want to try these. I think her packaging is really cute. Over here, I have some of the Makeup Forever Reboot. I believe this is a brand new foundation, and I haven't tried this yet either, but I've heard really great reviews. Obviously, you guys know that I am a hoe for the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, so I have pretty much every shade right here because it's just superior. Like, 10 out of 10. You can never go wrong using it. I also really love the Dior Air Flash. This is another one of my go-tos, especially for more full coverage or foundation that I need to stay literally like 14 hours. I know that that is a great ride or die. Next is my different powders. Obviously, I love the Laura Mercier translucent powder, just like every other human ever that loves makeup. And then another powder that I've been really loving lately is Patrick Star's One Size Beauty. These powders are really, really great. I have a few different shades of that, and I love that they come in minis. Anything mini, I'm just obsessed with. I also really love the Givenchy Prism Libre Rose Setting Powder for under the eyes. This is one of my favorite setting powders to put under the eyes because it has a really nice pink tone so it kind of cancels out any dark circles. I really just use this for under the eyes though. To set the rest of the face I would use more of like a Laura Mercier or I really also love the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powders. These are really great especially for setting your makeup on the go. Next drawer is all of my highlighters, blushes, bronzer contour palettes obviously we have one of the OG's which is the Mac soft and gentle I think this was the first highlighter that I ever bought I remember whenever I used to be obsessed with like Blair Fowler Bethany Moda on YouTube whenever I first got into makeup me and my family came to LA for my very first time and I forced my entire family to go to the Mac store at the Grove so that I could buy soft and gentle because that's where the girlies shop and I was low-key like searching for them and I literally remember asking the Mac girls has Bethany Moda been in today and they're like no like 
Over here, I have some different blushes. I have a little bit of a mix of cream and powder blushes. So obviously I have some MAC blushes. I have these Bite Beauty liquid blushes that are really pretty. Also, another really great cream blush is Nude Sticks. These ones are really creamy and easy to blend, and they also have a little applicator on the end so you can buff it out really easily. Over here is more blushes. I literally have more blush than anyone needs, and I probably will never use half of these, but it's nice to have because I love trying out different products products sometimes and constantly switching out my routine on myself and on my clients. These Tower 28 cream blushes though are probably my favorite of all time. I use these on almost all of my clients. They're really great and super easy to blend. I just apply a little bit of this on a beauty blender and kind of pounce it into the skin. I also feel like blush is super trendy right now and so I feel like that's kind of why I have more blush than anything else at the moment. Over here for bronzers, obviously I'm stocked on the Benefit Hula bronzer. This is is kind of like a cult classic and everyone's really obsessed with this. It works really great too for fair skin, for medium toned skin, so it has kind of like a nice variety and I also really love using this as an eyeshadow as well. I get a lot of questions about contour recommendations as well and this Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer is a really great one and it's also really easy to use. It's cream and it's just a stick so you don't even need a brush. You can just kind of draw it on and then use a beauty blender to blend it out. Okay, the next one is probably my favorite drawer and it is the lip drawer. I mean, she's just so stunning. I just love the way that we were able to display these because you can see them all. Again, it's kind of organized by brand, so it's really easy for me to pull from. I have all of my About Face Beauty liquid lips here. I have some of my Maybelline Lifter glosses up here, and these are a really great dupe of the KKW glosses. Also, the packaging is just really pretty and it's affordable. A really great matte liquid lip also is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Whenever I was on tour with my clients, I can always count on these literally you could make out with someone and your lipstick would still be on the amount of times that I've went out and then woken up still with my lipstick on the next day these are it also I have some of the Kylie Cosmetics lip kits as well she did a rebrand and I think the packaging is so pretty also throwback to whenever I was in high school and really thought that I was gonna make it on the Kylie Cosmetics Instagram page insert photos I remember I remember when I lost my mind there was someone so pleasant about that place. They're scary. Over here, I just have some different lip liners and they're organized by color as well. So it goes from like reds to pinks to nudes and then to darker berries or vampy shades. And then over there is just some new lip products that I haven't had time to try out yet. I have these little coasters from RX Goodie Shop and I think they're so cute. They're the little pill coasters. And then this is just a little sculpture of a popsicle from an incredible artist named Betsy Eisenberger. I'm obsessed with her work. Again, we use the Lazy Susans to kind of put more products on display so over here I have all of my primers and setting sprays this primer is probably one of my favorites because Jaclyn Hill recommended and I trust anything that she says it is one of the most expensive primers probably ever this is $200 but it's really incredible if you want to splurge for like a night out this is kind of one of those products that you use like very occasionally and I also really love the Laura Mercier hydrating primer right here I have a ton of mascaras why do I have so many I don't know I really like trying out new products and then I just become a hoarder over time. One of my favorites is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lashes. I go through this constantly in my kit. And then I also really love Too Faced Better Than Sex. Lancome makes some really amazing mascaras as well. Over here is where the lashes live and most of these are Lily lashes because I am just so obsessed with their lashes. And as you guys know, Tana will not wear any other lash than the Lily Lash in style Miami. So we go through a lot of those. And this drawer is where the eyeliners are. And again, they're organized by color. So we have all of my blacks, browns, nudes, blues, greens, yellows, reds, purples. And honestly, most of my eyeliners stay in my kit. So I think I have like triple this, but I keep most of them in my kit just because I never know what I'm gonna walk into on set. Most of the time they don't tell me the look that they're going for ahead of time and they'll be like, I need a green smoky eye and I just have to be prepared. So I have tons of options in my kit at all times. Then in here I have some different like, gel eyeliners and MAC paint pots, things like that. My favorite gel eyeliner is the Inglot AMC liner. This does not move once it's on your face. Like 
this eyeliner could last for days and Tana Mojo is the perfect example of that. Fun back, actually really, really sad back. <laughs> I sleep in Alexis Oakley wings all the time. That is true. I've learned to take off the skin as much as it pains me. I would sleep in the full bead if it didn't affect my skin. I will absolutely sleep in an Alexis Oakley eye. If I have an early morning meeting and you did my eye later yeah. night, oh. Oh, I always recognize it. Oh, and then every time I'll post an Instagram story, I should be like, I see you still have the wing on. <laughs> and then over here are some different brow products. So I have tons of different brow gels and brow pencils. Brow gel, I'm currently really loving the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I'm wearing it right now. I feel like this is one of the only brow gels that really, really actually hold your brows in place all day. I also really love the Anastasia, but I feel like this has more of an intense hold. And then back here, I have a lot of the Benefit brow pencils as well as the Anastasia. I really love both of those. I also have a few Kelly Baker brow products as well. Love her, she's the best. I remember in like 2016, whenever brows became a super popular trend, Zendaya was kind of the pioneer of a fluffy, bushy brow and I was obsessed with Kelly Baker because she kind of created these brows on so many celebrities and I remember whenever she followed me back on Instagram, that was one of the most exciting days of my life. Love you, Kelly. And then over here, I have some more lashes. Right here is kind of where all of my individuals live. I really love using individuals on clients because they're more comfortable and more customizable as well and easier to apply. I also have some different strip lashes right here. These are actually my friend's line, Studio H Makeup Company. She makes some really pretty lashes. They're mink lashes and they're reusable. You can use them, I think, up words of like 30 times. They're really great. You guys should check them out. Here is the first eyeshadow drawer and I really love the way that we kind of set up the eyeshadows in here because it's really easy to see and pull from. Back here I have all of my Morphe palettes and then I have some different eyeshadow palettes up here. This is the Revlon Megan Thee Stallion one. I think this is so cute and probably something that I'll keep forever. I feel like eyeshadow palettes are so sentimental. There are certain eyeshadow palettes that I probably will never use again but they just have special memories tied to them. This one is a perfect example of that. This it was. Makeup by Mario's collab with Anastasia Beverly Hills. This poor palette is literally on its last limb, but this was one of my first like splurgy palettes that I bought. I remember I got this in 2016 whenever I was still in makeup school and was so obsessed with this palette, especially the shade Marina, as you can tell. Over here is where kind of like the shadow sticks and single shadows live. I love shadow sticks so much. I really love the Laura Mercier ones, the Nar one Halsey's line about face beauty has some really pretty ones as well and then over here is all of the single shadows and cream shadows and I love the way that we displayed these as well because I feel like those are something that can be kind of hard to display because it's easy to get stacked under things and I love that you can still see most of them the way that we have these I also just love the packaging of these Shiseido single eyeshadows and this shade is so pretty there's another little eyeshadow palette that has a nice memory I remember I bought these whenever I was still in high school this was whenever I was doing brides in my parents basement and prom girls for I think $25 a person I would just have every Saturday girls like stacked up in my parents basement it was kind of odd looking back but it was a great little entrepreneurial moment and so these shadows I remember I got in like a collector's box and it was like you got 20 eyeshadows and 20 eyeliners and I use these in my kit for so long. They were really incredible. I haven't pulled from any Urban Decay products in a long time honestly though other than their setting spray nothing will ever be the all-nighter. Next drawer is probably my second favorite and this is just more eyeshadow palettes but again I just think it's so pretty and we kind of organized it by color as well. This is another one of those palettes that I'll probably never get rid of. Anastasia Beverly Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This one was just such a good one. I haven't really used this one. I remember I bought this whenever I was kind of going out of that stage of my life where this was like the only makeup palette that I used, but I wanted to keep one I remembered. So I got this and we were all just really obsessed with a warm smoky eye because of Jaclyn Hill. Again, she really changed the makeup game. This is really dirty right now because I actually use it a lot, but this is Alicia Marie and Remy Ashton's collab with Tarte. This is their pretty basic palette and it's so pretty. I really love the colors. I used this palette in a tutorial, I believe, a long time ago where it was one of my like monthly favorite videos, something like that, but this is a really great collab and the lip oil that came with this palette is literally one of the best lip oils I've ever tried. I tell Alicia all the time, I'm like, 
I need a full size. A mini is just not gonna do it for me. This was the first item that Pat McGrath ever sent me. It's so special to me. It's such a pretty palette. This was actually part of their holiday collection from this year. I am obsessed with Pat McGrath. She is like the Tom Brady of makeup and that was really crazy. And then she also reposted me on her story. Down here is kind of my avant-garde situation. And so I have lots of little rhinestones and jewels to glue on the face and the eyes. I have tons of glitter. This palette is actually one that I made. It's with the Lemonhead glitters, which I'm so obsessed with. I really love Lemonhead. One of my friends, Megan, this is her line. But these glitters are actually really cool because they're gels. So they're not loose glitter. They're really easy to use. They don't make a mess. I hate using loose glitter because of the mess that it makes. Literally no glitters like it. Right, babe? I put them in this airtight palette just because the jars are really heavy to have in my kit and I just think this is so pretty to have them all laid out like this. Over here I have some different face paints, body paints, about face beauty. They came out with these eye fluid paints that I really really love and I was using these a lot during Halloween as well for some of my looks. The last drawer, the last one is just a few random items. This is my little Z Potter. I use this to depot all of my eyeshadows. So basically what you do is you just take any of your eyeshadow palettes and set it on the Z Potter and it heats it up and then it basically melts the glue that holds the eyeshadows to the palette and it pulls them out like this so then you can kind of create your own custom palettes and this is just really convenient as a makeup artist. Okay. Why? This looks like a sex toy. I swear it's not. This is a face roller from the brand Rifa. I really love using face rollers, gua sha's, things like that. And they make some really amazing ones, but it really does look like a sex toy. She loves the drawers. Up here is just some random kind of miscellaneous type of items. I have like brush cleaner and antibacterial products, travel items, I have makeup bags, I have some hair products, and then up here is just PR boxes that I haven't had time to go through and sort yet. So I just kind of throw them up there until I get time because I want to try and keep this as organized as possible for as long as I can. And I'm trying really hard not to just throw things in there whenever I'm in a rush. So that is very helpful. Over here is my vanity and Glamcore was literally so generous and sent me this mirror which I am obsessed with and it's really nice too because I like to have my clients come over here sometimes get ready in my glam room and I want to start filming some videos with some clients of mine so if there's anyone in particular that you guys want to see me do a video with my glam room comment down below I really want to do something with Tana in here she was actually my first client that I had come over and get ready in here and so that was really fun we had a great time over here is my that bitch and glasses neon sign this is from the brand radical neon they're actually based in New Zealand but they make some of the best neon signs and they're pretty affordable in comparison to others as well obviously this one was custom if you guys don't know the story of that bitch and glasses I was really drunk one night with my friends and we thought that it would be funny to kind of create this alter ego and I ended up actually changing my Instagram handle to it for the night and then it just kind of stuck now I'm just that bitch and glasses whenever I get drunk I just have this pullout couch for whenever you know guests come over and people have friends in the glam room or it's really convenient too because it's a pullout couch so whenever my family comes and stays or if I ever have any friends in town, things like that. But Bay thinks it's her couch, just like everything else in this apartment. And that's all for the glam room. Bye!